we got a great one for you today. Beast Coast facing off against LGD. I'm so excited. I can't wait for this game. These two teams are awesome. TBC games, you'll often find that they're behind. Right. You no, know, they tend to drop sometimes in the laning stage. They they don't quite get like that same aggression as like maybe like two years ago, where you'd always see this rotation of like Hector's playing a stun in the carry lane, right? He gets the stun into the rotation mid from mid. Speaking of some rotations, yeah. Ame in a lot of trouble as they run him down. He might just be oh. dead as the chase continues. That is a first blood whisper claiming this early. You get this start for a bit can be very scary as the lane goes on. On the mid lane. Yeah, and this has been something for these Moranas. Oh, oh, a nice move. Zin Q, it's got him caught. Can he survive? Fairy Fire, try to turn. Oh, C Smile, able to live. C he Smile gets, it. gets the kill first. <laughs> of course, we've often seen, though, unfortunately, the Snapfires have been missing going over those uphill kills. Uh, and unfortunately, you're, you're not getting any more attacks with those higher levels. <laughs> I also think the scary thing is that since it's maxed, you want to always use it. But yeah, that's, that's true. For it now, Chrono connects onto two, and Gojira immediately there with the big ulti. Rolls through, no. tries to interrupt. Will it be enough? Silence now onto C Smile. He'll die, but they get two in turn. Now trying to get a little bit of separation. A good roll ends up bringing down Stinger, but then the cookie. And now onto Ame. A couple more punches. Hector has him for the double kill. They get the invis to try and survive through this and nothing to say still sticking around but he might have stuck around a bit too long do they have any detection it doesn't look like it it looked a little scary when chris got stunned by the pango roll after jumping in but there's enough damage between the snap and the storm slightly jumping in on the chrono just to kill both the slaughter and dying yeah she was a half the damage in that fight there oh, the arrow, the arrow. zinq timed it perfectly well played by lgd and into the pit they go so a little bit of just fancy movement around the map and baiting things out, and this is going to grant them an Aegis. That was so much patience here from LGD. There's also this perfect ward. They wa Beast Coast watches the entire LGD walk into the Roche. Oh! Bay. Just jumps in, though! They didn't get out in time, and the Snapfire ultimate coming down. Will it be enough damage? Dodges back away from the silence, away from the stun. Nothing to say, trying to get aggro here. But with the rest of Beast Coast chasing, that is Chrono down, and they need to get some more here. They try and pull in, nothing to say. He's controlled, he's gonna be killed. Can they find any more? They don't get the Aegis Carrier, but they do find Undying Pango. Yeah, close to also bringing down the Slarder there too, but it, it feels a lot better. Oh. We've got nothing to say. Wait a minute, what? Uh, Hector jumps away, four staff out. Things are getting a little bit weird here. As Whisper turns, ready to fight. The birds, they're on top of him. Ame goes down. Stinger's still sticking around. They didn't want to bail on this. Beast Coast, they're ready to keep fighting. Ame right on top of him. Why can't no save the drought? Somehow, some way. Beast Coast, make it work. Uh, okay. They just kept chasing, and it worked out. Along with the Drower Pango, like just two cores jump the void, you kill him. Beast Coast is a lot of their big team fight spells. And again, this is just. The, it all goes down to the Aegis. Losing that Roche makes it so you can't push tier twos without getting chronoed, and it just is scary for them. <laughs> the way Hector plays this too. Look at this now. They're they're moving up. LGD know that they're going to be in the triangle. Can they take this fight though? They're going to be underneath a Beast Coast ward. The smoke on smoke action. They know they're in the area. Arrow, Hector, oh, he gets bashed right at the start. Roll through, round two, can he get it off in time? BKB out, wants to jump forward, finds a couple, but it's not a great target. The Chrono, he catches oh, Ame on the backside. Immediately, C Smile right on top, they find him, but do they have the control? The bird drop, a couple more stuns, four staff to the low grab, keeps him fine for now. Base beyond, ready to fight, going toe to toe against C Smile, Hector and now on to Whisper. They're in trouble, they gotta get the hell out of here, and Beast Coast lose it as LGD say no. I will say also, if they beyond can get into this Agnum Scepter, that's going to be another huge moment for them, just being able to stand uh, in those puddles. But they've also had a good ward hanging out here. They see Gojira. See Smile jumped right at the start. Where's the save? Cookie out. The flame will stay. Gets out of there. Oh my god, the cookie save. It actually worked. But Whisper, he's the one that's caught now. Four staff. Dude, Beast Coast, they're covering each other really well, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. Faith Beyond is too strong on this Slardar. Stinger, controlled, also killed. LGD find another win here. Roche and this time, Roche is ready for him. We will likely see a couple more towers fall, uh, fall in the duration of this Aegis. I think Beast Coast has been doing a very good job in terms of the, uh, the lane pressure, which isn't necessarily something I would always say is like one of their strengths as a team. 
but uh, all of the map right now from like Whisper, Stinger, and Hector throughout a lot of this game to try and keep them in it. Oh, jumps back line. Whisper getting enough separation, and oh, Faith Beyond might be in a little bit of trouble. He's pretty far forward. They get the pull for round two. Hector They're gets a good chrono, but it doesn't find the drow. That's not good enough. He's going to kill off that Undyne. See, Smile gets some separation. Ame wanted to chase, but can't quite go for it. Nothing to say. Backs away. And the Tombstone is down. So they find two kills. Both of them are going to be kind of playing this cat and mouse game where Dyer's Void doesn't want to show because he always wants to be able to chrono. And Drow doesn't want to show until he sees the Void. So everyone else is going to have to throw their bodies in. I think that's why Faith Beyond keeps going first. Jumps first. There's an opening. And can they bring him down? Yes. Why dead? Uses the chrono on Faith Beyond and two of his other teammates also. He really they go rolling liner. inside. They will bring down one, but nothing to say. Still ready to fight. But look at him. K1 right on top of Ame. The Shadow Blade keeping him alive. Faith Beyond bought back. Can they do it? Round two of the ZQ. They turn. They bash, they crush. See, Smile doesn't have any mana left. Has to get out of there. Whisper playing a little bit of intercept at the moment. But with the chase down, Ame coming in. Hector turns, tries to bring him down. Oh, my goodness gracious. And kill him off. Three dead for nothing. This fight is looking all LGD. As Whisper also, he too will die. Yeah, they went for a cheap stare to that fight, throwing the kisses on the Undying, trying to get themselves just one leg up in this engagement. Both him and Faith Beyond just are creating chaos, kiting the fight out, stunning heroes, and just playing for this slow fight where at some point, Drow's gonna prop her ult three times in a row. It's not slow. This is the dieback. Faith Beyond in trouble, starting to drop down low, but not dead yet. Bouncy back and forth, and Seek Smile barely survives through that one. As they will find the arrow on to Hector, Manta jumps out, jumps back, back in, Chrono, oh, he did it to him, and now Marana already hit, turns on to Ame, looks for a couple more punches, and Faith Beyond, he survived through so much of this, but as they chase him through the river, usually Slardar's strong there, not this time, a hundred seconds dead, the time walk in and back out was exactly what they needed. The bashes. Arrow out, LGD. Can they contest this? They do have roll. They're in the area. Roche is falling quickly, but Beast Coast, they're already okay, in okay, position. Okay, Kajira, okay. They're just ready to go, man. Yeah, he doesn't want any blinks happening. And a full bot refresher. Jumps forward, pulls onto one. Ame controlled. And they do, they have enough. The BKB, the turnaround. Trying to back out of there. Hector right on top of Ame, but they've already killed one. Of course, it was the eggs, right? You know? Oh, yeah. Eggs from Roche. Yeah, of course. He was already queued up. He's 4,000 gold by now. On Suche, Zinq also going to drop now. 10k gold in the lead. Beast Coast looking to come in here. Shock the world. Take down LGD. We'll see if they can do it in this game one. You know, Hector obviously recognizing just how important that Chrono Sphere is. He's sitting here with the refresher. Chrono just came back up. They're on the high ground. They've got the Minus Armor going into these buildings here. They want to get a little bit of something here before backing up. What more can they do? That was Mangoes, right? He's back in full man on the storm. He's ready. They knew the whole time. The this is going to be a lane of racks. They're bringing back nothing to say now, but to jump forward, they find why he's in trouble. Ame trying to stop the bleeding, but there is no tourniquet here. It's all gone. They just keep finding uh, the kills and cutting them out. I think, especially, it's just Chris Luck. The amount of times he's able to survive, get pulls off cooldown again and again and again, just all they need for to the do. For the crush, the roll forward. Starts the fight, the arrow is there. Anyone Where's the time? save? Looking for the cookie, gets him in a little bit deeper. K1 Ooh. caught, that's Aegis down. This is the best that LG could hope for right now. Can they keep it going? Looks for it. He, Hector, dude, he just goes in! And it's only for an undying! Careful now, he's got one more. Round two, chase, chase, Ooh. look for more. Gets out just barely in time. How does this guy hold his BKB? He's not afraid. Meanwhile, the Enchantress comes in and is going to just be safe. Okay, four right. staff, four <laughs> staff, cookie, everything. It's a really big tool that the LGD needs to use. Nothing to say his whole build is kind of around using the roll to extend the fight. Thing. Gets vision, misses on the jump. See, smile backs out. Hector, control onto one. They find the Drow in the back. Right on go, top go of him in the meantime. I think he was there to go Chira lost his mind, lost his life, but they jump in and they find nothing to say. Oh God, Hector, he's taking so much damage with the marksmanship and the amp. 
Chase, nothing to say, looking for it. The crush is there, a couple of punches, but K1 gets out. Whisper's coming in. He's right on top. Z Smile finding Bastion, trying to kill. Will it be enough? The Hex is there, a couple more punches. Ame's dead. Whisper barely survives through. K1 jumps in, finds Undying, trying to bring him down. Ame is still beaten, though. He's got a ton of damage. K1 has to be careful. A couple more marksmanship rocks is all he needs, but he gets away again. No, Bango! Nothing to say. He salvages it. They jump in and get the kills. Beast Coast, they get a lot of objectives, but LTD, they're not out yet. It's the Mega Creeps, though. That is rough. That is real rough. Keep in mind, though, you know, like you said, there's no buyback on Hector. All right? Oh, okay, big jump. Jump, finds one. That's a quick kill onto Y, and with no buyback, this fight just got a little bit harder. Faith Beyond looking. They wanted to defend that ward, but it's a bit too dangerous. Faith Beyond under the Moonlight Shadow. The birds with Whisper right on top. Walks in vision, gets him there. Hex, Chrono, connects Faith Beyond. Also, nothing to say they got him. Second round, Chrono ready to go. Waiting for their moment, though. Do they have the mana? Hector jumps in, gets Ame. the Chrono on Ame. And the chase comes. See smile Aeon Disc. It keeps him alive for a moment, but only a moment. Although, he gets the BKB off. Now a little bit of a runaway. No the cash. The okay, a couple more punches. Cheese, see smile backs away, survives. Jumps back in, tries to bring down one. Nothing to say. Hey, still living through it. He's silenced forever. Yeah, even for a Storm Spirit with the cheese, like he, he needs so much mana to get around. Faith Beyond has to be careful here. He doesn't have buyback. They will find Gojira. They'll find Stinger. Roly Poly, no chrono. Gotta be careful. Jump in, find one. Thinking about running onto Ame, but this fight's getting a little bit weird. Silence connects onto C Smile. Whisper there finds Zing Q. And four seconds. And unusually, they're in the position. He zips right Ooh, through the good right blink. Now. Good blink away. C Smile just ready, but look at him. They just missed it. The tier fours are going down. They need to get back home. Nobody's home at the ancient. The fight is going on. LGD might just lose this game while the fight is happening. Uh, you're Nobody is home. All the creeps, they're pretty strong. Beast Coast gets some help from Love as those catapults are going to bring him down one by one. Faith Beyond trying to stop it. Yes, sir. Do they even get any damage onto the ancient defense of the ancients? Whisper moves on in with the birds ready to take it down. A couple more punches is all they need. LGD trying to hold on, desperately doing everything they can, but GG is called. Beast Coast take game number one. Just really nice play, all the chronos. Uh, the way they, they kind of maneuver these fights is really impressive from the side of these guys. I was very scared for them. Because my panel believes in the draft of PSGL, PSGL to be more well-rounded this time around compared to previous game. More chances to fight. BKBs just keep getting stronger and stronger, so anytime mm -hmm. you don't have spells that deal with BKB, you're just stunned faster than BKBs. Oh, Gojira going down and dropping. Whisper can't get there in time to save, so Ame and draw first blood. Not just CS, look at that net worth lead. 3,000 at eight like minutes. positioning under the tower, like there's yeah, two Chrono. TPs in. They're going, Chrono gonna be used, Marcy under control, Why is there, gonna send back Gojira. I don't know if they have the damage for this, they might get one they have kill. The TPs. It's okay, everyone's A lot coming. Of them. Avalanche toss, a couple more punches, but nothing to say also shows up. See Smile in some trouble, will get stunned, but that's just to try and get some separation. As they toss in the CM, uh -oh. Stinger is going to be left to the walls. See Smile, what are you doing? Oh no, Arena down though. They're just trying to keep the fight going a little bit longer. Faith Beyond, do they have the damage for this? I'm not so sure. Arena breaks, Spear goes down. Everybody oh, oh, a lot of action going on as 10 heroes down bottom. LGD, they're coming out on top. The five hero swarm assembles down here. They delay the fight with the Chrono. I think that there might be like a move coming through, right? And uh, they're beginning to scout now. Trying to Smile. grab the eye. Avalanche the wants the toss back, gets it onto one, but the call, the interrupt, will it be enough? See Smile, they get one kill onto the Disruptor, immediately have to run away. Gojira, mana burn, Stinger also there, looking for the slow, but the dunk, it's queued up, it's coming, trying to separate, still living, and gets a little too, where'd he go? <laughs> Behind the tree, jumps in, Faith Beyond, he says no. And they won't be able to find him. They might have been TPing in vision. We might start seeing some of those uh, like glimpse wards come out from these situations when they're trying to run away from you. Nothing to say, just running in. They're ready to go. Frostbite, Faith Beyond, still looking for the chase. Ava, toss, spear, dead. Okay. Got him. Oh, and then he and Chrono. Jump in. Round two of this one. Can they bring him down? Whisper is there, has a spear from up on the high ground. 
But the Marcy jumps in and immediately explodes one. Gonna dunk two. Pulls in K1. Has to run away. But the chase is coming. They got him caught. K1 done. See Smile as well brought back. Oh, they keep on falling. Another one in the area. See Smile does manage to TP out of there. But LGD, they came to play in game two. And after that chrono, there, there was a hope. This faith no one will be able to chase down. But now Gojira Ooh. trying to get away with the Vendetta. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to happen there. Spike Carapace running out with a bunch of heroes in tow and having him right on target. This is going to be some more armor in for Faith Beyond. Okay, though. Okay, they got one kill. Delayed for Why? Kill. Okay, maybe not. Up Smile. Marcy, spear back. Got him. Whisper. Finding a target, but Marcy gets out. Can they bring down Faith Beyond? Hector just hitting creeps. They don't have nearly enough damage, it feels like, to bring him down. Seek Smile, Avatar's dead. Beast Coast, they extend the fight and manage to make something out of nothing. It's from Tiny just to take him down on the mid lane, so yeah. nothing to say. He's going to walk up, make space for the infest bombs on the axe. Marcy to be able to jump in on him, so. Yeah, too soon, man. Unbelievable. Well, 9 to 15, spear down, the call to turn, and Whisper in some trouble. See Smile throws out one salvo of spells, Zinq living through it. Whisper is in trouble and going to die, and in fact, they picked a fight with the wrong combo. Gojira tries to move into position, stun is there, and K1 moves. Where's the damage? Do they have enough to see a multi? Actually brings down Faithion. Nice hold on the chrono, too. Spear shows. Oh, down oh. bottom at the same time. That's a fresh BKB. That is a big one. Zing Q goes down. Faith Beyond trying to make something of it. Y catches with the arena. Looking for the bigger target. He wants Hector. Faith Beyond leaves C Smile behind to find the bigger prize. And Gojira dead too. The glimpse they had all the time in the world. C Smile tries to TP out. Not going to happen. LGD keep this in going. This is one of those games you're going to watch and you're going to go queue up Disruptor later and it might not look this good. You know, this is one of the best situations you can be on this hero. You have all this follow-up damage. All you got to do is bring him back to the fight afterwards. You're so far ahead, keeping the snowball rolling and now right onto the high ground with Alessrak. His static storms have also been amazing. He always yeah. is catching those like tiny specifically who wait just as the tiny blinks in, catches him, breaks up the combo with the silence and... It's just really hard to play into. Oh, and they find him another kill here as CM did not stand a chance. LGD, they just keep running at the them. Double Jump spear. spear, looking for it. Do they have enough for the Leshrac? Arena down, oh, a good one, stun. Though. Gojira there, can they get the kill? Nothing to say, oh, living no. through. He's getting out of there. He's starting to get brought down though. Hector on top and finds Ame. Almost gets a kill, he leaves him behind. Ame, he survives. They bring down the Aegis now. They were waiting for it. They are hoping for a bigger hit, but it's not going to be there. Spear, connection, a glimpse back onto one. See Smile in far, tossing it to his teammates, trying to keep himself alive, but it won't happen. The Rock Man is brought down, and LGD still standing tall. They're running out of gas here on Beast Coast. Hoping for something, anything. Bame. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! That Hector, one hurt! Hector. The taunt, the spear, the connection. Hector trying to survive through this. They've left for a very long time, though. Wait a minute. See, Smile, the rest of Beast Coast, are they doing it? It doesn't quite look like it. Hector backs away. Rage two. They keep the chase what? going. Another spear. It comes too late. The rage is out. Ame still lives. Faith Beyond very low. They're keeping the damage on him to break the blinks. Gojiro with the stun. Are they actually doing this? Beast Coast, they find another. Why? Gone. How? How? They won that fight! It, it just kept going. The rest of LGD going for the wrap. We'll see if Hector is found. They see both of them on the lane. This is dangerous. Hector caught, looking for the impale. Not gonna happen. An easy pickup and exactly what LGD needed. 70 seconds, no boys. Interesting, they're not wanting to give up this map here. Looking for it, CM opening a good arena to make this happen, but the taunt is there, so no spear for the follow-up. CM already done, nothing to say. Aiken through that tree volley. Whisper just tries to get out of there, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. They bring down the Mars. LGD, keep it going. The game is just even gold-wise. That's how much gold ahead LGD is right now, so it's really important that Beast Coast is constantly- They find him again. K1 gets the BKB on the bash. Oh man, a little bit of luck, a little bit of skill. It works out well for them. Nyx is still hidden to the side. The tree volley not doing nearly enough damage. LGD take down three. There are no buybacks available. Oh, another quick dive all you here in a second. Uh, you can see now again as they move up and ready to head across the map. 
take down this set of racks here. They're gonna move from lane to lane. 20 seconds until Faceless Void is back up. 30 for the Tiny. But that's more than enough time for LGD to close out. I mean, we, we said it too, right? We're like oh, kind of on the same level. Yeah, yeah. I would say. Of course. Yeah. Oh, oh, honestly, you too, Trent. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that's fun. Take back. Really he gave out the CM. Already in trouble. They go for the burrow. Look for the stun. Some mana burn, maybe. Whisper still hunting. They only catch the Marcy. That's not good enough. Nothing to say. Runs on in. Finds Gojira. Whisper tries to stop this damage from coming through, but the dunk is there. No more faceless void. See smile turn. Burns, tried to go for the tree volley, but the bash is already done. LGD are going to close this out, push it to a game number three. Oh, I know that's what everybody here wanted to see. Let's be honest. Crowd cheering their way to see themselves into a 1-1. One, one. I really like the picks. I like the CK when it came out. Uh, but then this Brewmaster, I think, really started to, to turn things for me in terms of really liking LGD's draft. Top bomb is getting oh, very pressured. Oh, down low. A couple more punches from Whisper. Eight stacks, and it's enough. Whisper brings it down. First blood going to the back. Bat riders, you up all, all in smart spells. Used out now. Second split used, but immediately go. dead. And now the lift up. That is the reason that is quite good. Ooh, missed times that one, but I don't think it's gonna matter. So K1 stuck around too long. Will get brought down for his trouble. Lance looks like he's gonna go for right click, but Beast Ghost actually is defending this tower. Going for it. Whisper starting to build up. A lot of damage out from nothing to say though. Stinger right on top of him, trying to bring him down. Do they have enough? A couple more punches. The IO heal. It won't keep him alive. Zing Q chases in. Whisper. Whisper. Stun. Big jump forward. Stun. And the lasso. Enough for the connection and the kill. Go Whisper. He lives. Go Chira. He did it. Body in. Unreal. Whisper they don't quite down. get out. But he actually, he dies in fountain. Feels good. Four dead. Beast Coast. They made the rotation that they needed. Down bottom, they're moving in for nothing to say. Tumblers. They got him. Lasso there. They don't even need it. The combo of Gojira with Whisper, this opening two. Sven just has too much HP. Nothing to say. Invis, they spot Stinger, able to break that charge. Nice rebound. Good rebound in. They get the ulti immediately. The fear of a Faith Beyond interrupted. It's not enough. He's going to get the split off. K1 separated from the rest of his team. He's trying to survive, get a kill, but it's not going to happen. Gojira now chased, now pummeled, and Ame there to clean up. This doesn't quite look like it. Nothing to say. The old Scepter lift oh. up, and in fact, they do. Okay, the chase, the continue, and Stinger, he's gone. I mean, they, they want to fight right now in LGD. If they take this poorly, this could go completely wrong, but it's starting off pretty good. Stinger there, stun onto two, the rebound forward, pulls him in, tries to make this work. They get the charge, connecting onto Stinger with Marcy dead. Things get weird. The lift up on the Shadow Fiend. The damage. This is looking pretty good, but when he comes back down, he's got BKB ready. See, Smile turns, ready to punch the lasso there. They got nothing to say. He's gone. Can they find any more? Hector, stun, Ame tries to run away. Good blink out. So with that, the disengage gets LGD out. Deep on the Spirit Breaker, he manages to jump on in. And part of that was that, again, the illusions got purged instantly uh, from K1. No BKB. Will Scepter in some trouble, tries to turn, tries to get him out. Requiem of Souls going to get some separation. And K1 comes in, wants to clean up. No ulti available. He's dead. Now, ZinQ looking for a bash, not able to oh, find man. it. No bash, but they do get the stun. Stinger, the they stun! Oh, Stinger, you saved his life! ZQ brought down! They saved the region! LGD lose them all into Roche! Oh, worry. Ame in the river. They got eyes on him, but good blink out. Can Whisper find him? On the backside, the chase is there, the pushback, the lasso. ZingQ wants to save, but he might just be going deeper in for trouble. Couple more punches, Faith Beyond, he has the split. This fight is in pretty far. They have everybody back alive in a second. East Coast gonna try and cement some positioning up here. Some great vision laid down as well. He finds him, the relocate to try and get him out. Yules, Yules to oh, interrupt. Nice. The rest of the team coming on in. See Smile that swaggering one. forward. Gets him with the DD. Another hit, why not? Whisper. They have great vision. Again, they've seen a lot of these movements around the map right now from LGD. They have IO relocate with Lesh. They're TPing down. See Smile in pretty far. On the other side, they get the Yule Scepter lift up. See Smile in some trouble, getting pummeled, getting punched. He still has that Aegis, though. The back line, they find Whisper. Still a ton.
ton of damage out. Io dead. K1 going toe to toe against Ame. BKB running out low. Gojira in. They chase. They stun the rebound off the mark. K1 barely living. BKB finally out. Getting the regen. Getting the life steal. A couple more punches. The Yule Scepter oh, keeps man. him alive. The bash is there. The charge throw. That's what LGD needed. But the fear. Nothing to say. A couple more hits. C Smile doesn't quite have the range. They're pulling them apart on LGD. Four dead. Only C Smile's left. But the Requiem barely in time. The relocate gets him away. But C Smile, he's left all alone on the stage and in the game. He doesn't have anybody with him. C Smile goes down. LGD, take that one. Zing Q gonna get ran down. Whisper, he got killed off first in that last round of the fight. They need him desperately. LGD, there's not much oh. they can do to help them. DD and Invis for Right on top of them, they find one. The rebound is huge. Nothing to say. Trying to survive through that BKB. The Bloodstone doing some good work. But right on top of them, Gojira keeps the pressure going. Meanwhile, Ame turns to fight, takes down Stinger. Gojira in the back. They back away from this one. Does get brought very, very low. The blink in and the kill. Nothing to say. Still living, barely, but pulls in. K1 finds him for the finish. And they take down Whisper Ame. He's turning it up right now, but a three-second stun. See, Smile still lifted in the air. They need that Shadow Fiend in there. They won't quite get it. Whisper is the easiest to kill. He has no armor. He has not much HP. Oh, he he was out. This is a big one if they can get it. Fear, no nothing to say. You will Scepter lifting him up, trying to kill him, and they get him. No buyback. Which is probably why they give him that Aegis. I but like just strange. I missed that. That, that, that is a rough one. Very rough. Still the six jump. minutes, but the big jump no through. Aegis. No Aegis on Shadow Fiend. That's the price you pay. And now K1 also goes down. Whisper's the only one left alive. LGD, they strike back in the biggest way. All right, it's just a bait. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need him. Kill the brew. He has an Andis, but if you can somehow either force the split, completely kite the fight out. Well, they are not forwarding the source in the fight out. In fact, it's going to be the other way around. LGD push him well, to the other side. Everything. Okay, Aegis still a couple of seconds, eight seconds left, actually. Did they kill him in time? They do. So Aegis going to come back in in just a moment. Trying right. to back away, but see, smile. He's dead. Dead for 80. No buyback at all. Stinger also in trouble. Going to get dropped. Dropped. LGD win a huge one now as they will spot Gojira but can't bring him down in time. And pulled running in with their a lot of their heroes dead. I mean this tractor kill someone instantly. Hector pops it, push back on to everybody. The charge comes through. It's a lot of contain. Oh, Another yeah, land break. Nothing to say. Down low gets pulled back in. Do they have the damage? The lasso. Everything trying to kill him, but nothing to say. You ain't taking down this man. Lame's just there. He's just kind of like sauntering in, you know, the music's playing, it's the boss sound, the bass is thumping, and they want more. They keep going, they keep finding him off the back of Zinku's Spirit Breaker. The last couple of minutes, it's all falling apart. They're gonna head off to high ground now. At least one set of racks claimed, and they might go for more. You don't have to go too Jump in. That was LGD. Requiem out, couple punches, catching onto one, it's not enough damage. Nothing to say, Yule Scepter, dodge away, find Gojira, kill him off. See Smile, nowhere to go. He too will fall in LGD. The path is clear to move on. Top six, can they finish it off? Actually heading up top there too. Checking the tree lines with the Shivas, but Singer's way back. They keep going. Megas are theirs. He's always the front line. And looking to end this one here. Faith Beyond, the one up front and center, blinks in. BKB, nothing to say. Still fine. They're going to TP out of there on one. And ZinQ, are they going to be able to kill him? They jump on in. Lasso saved. Gets him away. Couple more punches. Two seconds stun. But K1 can't even hunt him down. The control is there. LGD, they cover themselves perfectly. GG is called. LGD, they're moving on. They're on their feet here. The LGD fans, they love to see it. It's, again, looking a little bit worrisome there. Beast Coast managed to do so much in that early game.